Hi, in this video, I'll be covering dynamic chart labeling with conditional formatting. You want dynamic labels for your charts or graphs. For example, when showing sales, if it's over a million bucks, you don't want the chart label to show seven plus digits. You just want it to show something like 1M. But if it's less than 1 million, like 500,000, you want it to show 500K. And you want it to be dynamic because your data changes so often. Think you have to do it manually? No. There's a way to do it with a custom format hack. I have even thrown in a bonus tip near the end. Let's check it out. So you can see here where I've got my table and my chart and you can see I have a random number generator that's generating between 100,000 and 1.1 million. And so in the table itself, you know, it doesn't show the 516 and the other digits. Like if I copy that and I just paste values here, you'll see that um, the actual number is that 515538, but it's truncated. And now it's auto generating new numbers because it's a random number generator here. But you can see that now it shows just the abbreviated version of that. And if I press the F9 key a couple times or delete key just to uh, re-trigger it, we have anything that is over uh, a million or above, you get the one M, anything below that is at the K. And how do we do that? How do we make it dynamic where it senses that? And it's really not that hard to do because it's a conditional number formatting within the cell itself. And there's a great article on the Microsoft Tech Community site that kind of covers it, written by Liam Bastic, and it covers formatting cells and all the different parts of formatting you can do with it. So this table is really instructive. And the one that I'm using here is going to be this conditional value portion of configuring the custom number format. And even down below here, it's going to give you an example. This is the one I'm going to use. But if you really want to learn how it works, we can go through it. I'll just do control C to copy that. And let's get back out of this. I'm going to go into a new sheet. I'll just put it up here for now. I'll put in the, that what I've copied there for now. And let's make our table. It's really easy to do. I'll just put description and sales. And we'll call this item one, item two. And we can just select that, autofill. It'll just generate the numbers in sequence. And this will be the random number generator, random between. Let's make this 100,000 again. And the top one is 110, 1 million, 100,000, right? Con control enter to stay in there, double click to fill it down. And you can see that the digits come up all the way up there. And if I press the F9 key a couple times or delete key a couple times, you can see that we have values in the uh, 100,000 here. This one goes to a million. Now what I'm gonna do is select my cells here, press control one to bring up the format cells uh, window, go to custom, and you can see that the first number is the million. And if we look at what it's applied here, basically the hash signs are, are just an indicator of a digit placeholder. Um, it wouldn't display anything if there's nothing there. The zero is another placeholder, but if there's nothing there, it's gonna pad it with a zero. And the thing that is instructive is the commas. So the commas are, a thousand separators. So the more commas you put in there, the more um, three digit zeros it will lop off. So let's let's look at, look at an example, right? Let's say for example, that I'm gonna choose this one, right? It's gonna show a million, right? So if I do a comma here, it's gonna lop off the thousands, okay? So that goes there, another comma, you just have that one million. If I wanna show that as million, I do a quotes, M quotes, and you can see that the one M shows up for that, right? But it's not gonna show up for that. And that's why we have this particular formula there. That, that and the brackets are indicating that if the value is conditional formatting, that indicates that if it's over a mil, if it's equal to over a million, it's gonna be, be in that format. And it's kind of like an if-then statement when you think about it. So the semicolons are indicating, well, if that condition is not met, let's go to this condition where it is equal or less, equal or greater than a thousand. Then we'll put in the K. Let's try to do that here. You can see what ha what's happening. So we have that and we're gonna put in K. You can see that it's 1028K for that million and anything else, we're just gonna put zero as a placeholder. So it's a, if it's a number like 123 or 100, it's gonna put 100 in there. So let's put that in. Let me cancel this. Let me copy this here. Control C to copy. Control one to bring back my window there. I have to put it under the custom category and I'm just gonna, under general, delete that. Control V to paste. 
click OK, and now it's done that. And now, if I try to create a chart out of this, go to Insert, Chart, and then put my labels on there, right click, and add a data label, it's done that. Let's delete these grid lines. I don't need those. Make, make this a little bit bigger. Press the F9 key a couple of times. So you can see that it's done that. But how do we make this even more dynamic? Let's say we add other things in here. Item, I don't know, nine. And then we'll pull that down. We'll pull this down. It doesn't show up. Well, we can make it dynamic by making it into a table, right? Click anywhere in here. Press Control T. My table doesn't have headers. Click OK. And if I press Tab, I do item nine. Press enter, you can see now it's entered it there. So that's another dynamic thing you can do with that. In addition to having the labels change from uh, thousands to millions to indicate that. So it's kind of a cool little dynamic way that you can change your labels and also in insert more rows or records into your data. See how there's even a type of conditional formatting done in number formatting? Though you can go all crazy with several iterations, it does give you some way to make your data and charts more visually manageable when it comes to large numbers. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end. Still here? Well, here's a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobo. Nobo who? You had no bell, so I knocked.